What's up everybody? It's a VR enthusiast here. It's another year and Christmas is over and there's plenty of noobs just running around everywhere. So I figured I would make a video and uh, show some of you around. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the Oculus Dash, some of the Oculus Home features, and some cool tri tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that'll help you get your VR legs. So uh, let's get to it. Alright, so here we are in my Oculus Home. As you can see, I have multiple screens set up. I just kind of do things a certain kind of way, and I'm going to show you how to do all of that stuff and how to use the, um, the settings here. So, recently they added the uh, messaging system. You just tap social. If your friends are signed up to Facebook, you can click this little message button here. You click uh, under friends, and then you can message them, which is pretty nice. There's already a party system, but the message system, that's, that's what <laughs> I needed that. So, um, I'm not sure if you can get all the full screens with, um, without setting, without signing up for the, for the beta. So go to the, um, the program on your desktop here under settings, beta, and activate the public test channel. Restart your Oculus if it doesn't do so already. And then probably restart your computer after that, because there's no telling. <laughs> so once you do that, you'll be able to go over here to experiments. You can enable a pass-through sh shortcut, so say if I was to double press the Oculus Home button, you can see through the screen. And I'm going to show that here in just a second. So um, here's the uh, virtual desktop. And as you can see, I have three screens hooked up, but maybe you don't have three screens or you don't feel like spending money on three screens, but you want to be able to walk over here and press the record button or press the dash button, hit pause on your music or whatever, and you can't do that. So. Uh, they sell these little, they sell these little things, these little, uh, little bitty screens, a little HDMI connector, and I'll put the link in the description and a better picture of it since this is just in black and white. Um, I would really like some augmented reality with this uh, pass-through stuff. It would be pretty cool. I mean, I got a screen here just floating here. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, these are really nice. I'm using three screens, but if you're not get some of these and hook them up and you'll be all good. Now, normally, let's see, uh, here in the dash, let's open up one of my monitors. So, you can just grab one of these screens and if you press A button here on your thumb and the grip button at the same time, you can drag and pull a screen out of the screen. So say you don't wanna buy one of those things and you have, uh, you want multiple stuff just kinda floating around, you can literally you can you can just pull it out which is really nice so on to custom oculus home assets and stuff like that like this little guy isn't that great <laughs> as you can see i have some errors um i kind of wanted to fix them before i did this video but they um yeah so <coughs> Here on Sketchfab, I'm sure you've heard of Sketchfab, if you type in Sketchfab, space GLTF, and hit search, there are many, many, many GLTF assets here, and I found that they convert easily. So once you've found the asset that you want, you want to download it, and um, you need it in GLB format. So we're going to go to a new one, insert a cube, there we go, I'm just going to scale that into a wall, whoops. Well, I am experiencing a small amount of lag. There we go. I'm gonna go to File, Save As. And that opened up on one of my windows somewhere. Here we are. And I'm just going to save it as GLB format. And most of the time this will work. So, you wanna save it to this PC, documents, under your documents, Oculus Home, import, and that's where they all go, all these GLB assets. So, once they're imported, you, um, you can go and look on your wrist here, boop, and you have all your, your Oculus Home, your items and stuff like that. You want to go to inventory, my imports, and then you can just grab an item that you've imported and pull it out, drag it in there. Sometimes it won't upload, sometimes it's got uh, what they call validation errors. Um, but most of the time it works. It's, it's pretty cool. Alright, so here's the Oculus Tray Tool. 
I'll include the link in the description. This application will allow you to run VR on a uh, lower end system or a higher end system, lower graphics or higher graphics. Um, pretty much all it does, it just increases the super sampling, which basically is like the, the resolution that you're viewing it inside your, your headset. So you can lower that and it'll run smoother. Or if you're on a higher end system like me, you can raise it up a little bit. I'm only on a 1070. 2070 so I wouldn't say I'm on that much of a high-end system but uh, it's a nice little program um, so I've got these uh, these pictures here in my oculus home they're all framed up nicely and there's a cool little uh, web website that just makes these so easily here's one from uh, Christmas last year we did an echo <laughs> I wish that they would um, I wish that they would um, bring the, the holiday room back but anyway so you go over here and i'll include the link for this in the description too it's glitch.com glb frame maker so you just drag your picture in here and you select what frame you want and then hit download and then put that in your oculus in your documents with the rest of your oculus home items and there you go you'll have nice little frame pictures in your oculus home you won't have to do any work either it's just it's so easy um on a final note for a lot of you new people who may be um, accidentally hitting other people or hitting other things or breaking your knuckles on stuff, you might want to get a pad, something that you can stand on like this, and um, it will, uh, you know, you build a feel where you're at because when everything's shooting and exploding and flying around everywhere, it's kind of hard to tell. So it's important to get a pad. And uh, I guess that's about it. I don't really have too much more to talk about. I've got a lot more videos to make on different subjects, and I'll get to those when I can. Sorry it took me so long just to make this video. I've uh, been busy with the holidays and New Year's and all of that good stuff. So, hope to see you guys in Echo Combat and in other games, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.